Hoje a gente vai conversar com o Clark Torrell e a J. Elaine Marcos, que vão contar um pouquinho sobre como é que funciona a produção do Annie aqui na Broadway. Guys, thank you so much for joining here us today. Uh, first, your chemistry on stage is amazing. How did you guys build it up? It, it was like the funniest part of the show, I have to say. Oh, <laughs> so, thank you. Um, actually, well, Rooster leads us in, so I just really follow along with how Rooster goes in. And it, I like to play on stage, so he starts it out, and I just kind of just follow along, whatever happens. It's a production, it's a landmark on Broadway, it has been, this is the third production, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. how did you bring your own personality, your own approach to the character, considering all these previous productions? I think literally it's just being in the moment, knowing what the words are, but being in the moment at that very moment. I can't go into the character thinking how uh, Bernadette Peters did it in the film. You know, mm -hmm. I immediately am only in that very one moment. So that's what makes it our production, our own take on the character. There are a lot of kids in the show. I would say most of the cast is children. Or um, at heart. At yeah. Heart. yeah, but... There, it's funny, there's not as many children as I thought there uh -huh. would be, especially yeah. when you say Annie, you're like, ah, oh, kids are running around. Right. No, it's like eight. Yeah, I think there's oh, seven. Yeah, yeah. It's orphans. yeah, but it seems like... Yeah, it really <laughs> feels like there's a lot, but uh, um, our ladies are very, they're very professional. Mm -hmm. And they, they really just kind of do their thing, but then off stage, they, they stay together because there's child wranglers who, mm -hmm. um, who are there with them. And so you don't have this... Thing, running around of the children, ah, ah, ah. no, they're all very, very creative girls. When it, when it's a, a Broadway production, there's a, a what they call a child wrangler. Mm -hmm. that, you know, it's their job to make sure that they don't get cheese puff fingers on their costumes yeah. and <laughs> whatever. And, and I um, need one of those actually. That's a lot of details yeah. to watch. <laughs> yeah, it is because they really, you know, they they they're just doing their thing. Like really, it's really awesome because there's. Like I said, we're, they're very creative because they'll, you think, okay, well, they have homework, mm -hmm. obviously, and they have the show to do, but then the, after, in the in between the scenes they're not on, they're creating videos downstairs. They're yeah. making crafts. Making music videos. Music they're, videos. Great. They built a, a, a village, <laughs> an entire village of different That's box it. forts, you know, from huge boxes movie. and things. But these, and then they go upstairs <laughs> and they do their number again. Like, it's so, it's, it's kind of funny to have the children around. And they're very young children, right? They're... Yes. Between 8 and 13, yeah. I think. Yeah. For, for usual stage productions, it's it's a young age. Yeah, it definitely, it definitely is. But it's but they're, they're little professional ladies walking around. You know, yeah. that's what's cool about it, is that they come in through the stage door and, you know, they're just kids. And they're doing the exact same thing we're doing. Yeah. Just playing, pretend, doing, pretend, yeah. pretend. Just you know, I'm like, oh, okay. So. Yeah. But I think we're all, we're, all, yeah. we're all pretty much kids. Yeah, we're all really young at heart. Well, it is an actor job, right? Yeah. To, to make believe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the, the audience is usually, for, it's a young audience. For, it's usually like the first musical a lot of kids watch when, you know, yeah. the parents will bring them to, the, to Broadway and that's how they get introduced mm -hmm. to the musical theater world. Mm -hmm. um, and it, my curiosity about this is how, you know, when you work with kids, they really get into the story and probably a lot of unexpected things happen on performances by the audience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, and we like to um, react to them sometimes in real time, uh -huh. just quietly to ourselves or comment. <laughs> because again, we're, you hear it. It's not like TV, but you hear the, the matinees. There's a lot of snacks mm -hmm. happening in the audience, and especially in the second act, um, where there's a big number, and, and mm -hmm. you know when there's a there's an everyone singing and dancing snacks can come out, it's totally fine, but then right after we, there's a scene where we come in and we kind of stop all the action, mm -hmm. <laughs> and all the music stops, and then we have our very serious scene, so all the snacks that just came out are still kind of going, but we're doing a scene and we can kind of hear it, and you know, it happens, but it also reminds us that, okay, just uh, let's keep this going, because mm -hmm. once the emergency snacks come out, it's, it's a time where probably the, the, the attention spans, mm -hmm. but they still... A lot of times they'll even like say things, no, yeah. like to, especially Rooster, no, don't take any, that kind of thing. So it's it's kind of it, it means they're watching, yeah. which is yeah. nice.
second act, usually when we when we first appear, there's you know there are occasionally some little remarks and things, and you know they recognize the characters, and um, especially the you know the rooster call yeah. things like that. But then in the second act, they understand that we're not necessarily nice people, uh -huh. and so that's when they get concerned, and it, yeah, yeah, you it's, hear that. it's horrifying, but it's what we're doing our job, you know, mm, yeah, yeah, and, you know it's like, you know, yeah. occasionally there's somebody crying, and going, mommy, you guys are the villains of the story, it, it is not a dramatic story, it's, you yeah. know, you're comic villains, but still, you're the bad guys, so. yeah, we serve a purpose, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How did you find a way to do that in a, you know, it's a show for kids and we're just talking like they'll get emotional, they'll be like, no. How do you find a way to be so, such charismatic? Really? When you just go down to just think about like what they want, all they want is a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So when you really think about that, instead of going, oh, I would want to hurt Annie, we want to right. hurt now we just want a lot of money. And, and the, the material provides, you know, even the song Easy Street and the scenes leading up to Easy Street provide that that dream and that vision of yeah. what it would do, how it would change their lives. Mm -hmm. So just finding the joy in that and the, the yeah. idea of how, you know, crazy life would be, you know, just with that money alone, yeah. you know, and to pull this con off. You know, in every, every show like this or every, you know, story that mm -hmm. involves, um, you know, a, a child coming into a better, a better life um, from struggle or whatever it is, there's, there's always a villain, that, you know, in Disney movies and mm -hmm. stories, there are always a villain. And they're much more extreme they're in the They're charming, though. They're so, you know, you, you want to hate them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if we do our job right, then I was like, oh, like Cruella de Vil? I mean, she's, 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 she's her mean, eyebrows yeah. are horrible. You know, so oh. we're, we're like, we're <laughs> lovable yeah. compared to yeah. those guys. So we have a habit of asking when we're talking to performers, what would be their either karaoke song or shower song, like the go-to karaoke song. <laughs> go-to karaoke or shower song? Oh my gosh. Um, for me, uh, I do like fame, because mm -hmm. uh, it Tell rhymes me. with Jay Lane. Because when I get this, when I get, remember my name, Jay Lane. I don't know. There's something about that is fun, and also I like up tempos at mm -hmm. karaoke because everyone can join in and everyone, uh -huh. you know, obviously knows the song. Yeah. But um, there's something about that song that I like, and there's a huge instrumental break in the middle that's so silly that everyone always there, mm -hmm. there's horrible instrumental version. I mean, like like dance breaks in the middle of a karaoke song, and there's no room to do it. So you can bring dance. a whole performance. Yeah, right? you can bring the <laughs> 80s and all the moves. So that's that's actually one of my favorite ones. Yeah, that's a really good. Song. Um, I have to say that like, I like duets, and I like doing duets <laughs> in the shower. Wait for with, by some, <laughs> yes. Oh, I was going to say that. I mean, that's, that's fun too, but... Um, but no, but when you get to do like both of the parts, oh, that's true. or karaoke, it's fun to like you know to to switch it up and mm -hmm. have, it, yeah. have somebody up there. So like, I don't even know the name of the song. Turn around. Every yeah, night. but then you just you really have to keep on looking really the lyrics. Kills, it's like got, goes to all these that's crazy different true. places. So, that's true. both both very good eighty songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. She can do the duet with you next time. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, thank you so much for <laughs> taking the time and being such great oh, interviews. Oh, oh we had, I had a great time Likewise. and I look forward to seeing Annie again. Cool. Excellent. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank you.
guys so much. It was really such a fun time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then I'll do a little switcheroo with the setup. <laughs>